Hello there my friends, welcome to the video, how are you doing, thank you so much for tuning in. Starting uh, this uh, specific session with some deadlifts and um, from now on and f uh, for a, a period of time forward I'll be doing an extremely focus on just fixing my deadlift, uh, which you will be seeing in this video. And... Uh, I've just always kind of uh, trying to figure out how to get my lats going uh, activated while I'm doing the deadlift. And I just recently watched a video um, where some where one told the uh, sad IQ on how to engage the lats, which was uh, simple. Uh, and I thought I'd just give that a try. And also fix some other stuff, not not uh, rip it as hard off the ground. So it might be uh, a weak position at first, but uh, it's something that I want to build up because uh, powerlifting is something, or lifting in general, heavy stuff, is something that I want to do for a very long time. So I have um, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, I long I mean it for the long run so to speak so don't want to, I want to have a, a pretty good form so that I don't mess myself up in the meantime so that I can do this for as long as I want to basically I don't wanna um, go to snap city so to speak so work to worked up to 150 kilos it's a little slower but uh, it, it feels better so the first rep was uh, the one where I tried to focus on the new stuff and this rep is just to show uh, basically how I used to do not exactly like that but it just um, a lot better now I'm feeling more like my, my back is engaged a lot more so uh, the this was quite the a weird ending to this deadlift set as you will see right about here do not hold your breath and <laughs> deadlift I, I should say because I almost blacked out right there and it freaked me out and it was probably the worst weirdest thing I ever experienced in my life because I had no damn clue what was going on and what was happening and for a few seconds afterwards I had no clue where I was and what just happened and uh, yeah it was just a total mess and I, I seriously uh, was probably the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And uh, it was very weird. And then after that, over to some squats. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to squat at first uh, because of how I felt. But I figured out that only happened because I held my breath so hard and really tightened up my body at a top position didn't let the air out while I was letting it down so as long as I had my breathing correct I knew I'd fix to do some squats so I ended up doing squats and I fixed my squat a little bit as well I'm going to uh, sit back a little bit more or at least think I'm doing it a little bit more instead of just bending my knees to do the squatting, squatting mov movement uh, and also not um, not bounce like a dive bomb. I, I think I talked about this before but I really don't want to do that anymore because I will show how I dive bomb in one of uh, in the last set here but I just figured I don't want to do that because it probably won't work in, in the long run because when I get to heavy weights I might easily fall out of position while I'm doing it uh, which I do not want so it's a little harder to control the squat uh, when it's going so fast down and you can mess up all kinds of things and lose tightness if you mess up in the bottom so I just want to do it a little more slow and controlled and hopefully that will get better over time and uh, turn out stronger than before so I think this is the set here where I show the, the first rep how I usually do is like boom and then how I'm practicing so 
worked up to 120 kilos as you'll see in the last few sets and did a couple sets of three and um, that's the session thank you so much for watching if you liked the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video